All right, Leo, welcome back. And cross watchers. Um, Leo, you're in the middle of all these readings. I don't know why, but you might just come out in the middle. Just letting you guys know. Give me a second. Sorry. Okay, so let's start. Remember, I could be picking up on you, Leo, on the cross watcher as well, because you cross watchers, you know, are welcome in my channel. Or I could be picking up on a third party, okay? So let's see what's going on with Leo. What is the energy here for the young my person? What else could be? Okay, this looks like somebody's been thinking a lot about planning something or doing something or going towards something very, very fast to a person that's moving very slow, you know, to some type of connection. It's, it's coming out weird. Um, I feel like somebody here moved slowly out of a connection or somebody's moving really fast out of a connection or thinking about it or did you feel me just take it how it hits you and i feel like this person chased you so much like a lot i mean this person chased you so much that and you just kept on going slowly you know like you thought about it you, you thought about it a lot you put your mind into it you did a lot of thinking about this connection and you just started to walk away very slowly with no words to be said. I feel like whoever walked away here or whoever's going to walk away ain't going to say nothing. They're going to go move real slow in silence and they're going to get the fuck out of there. And whoever here hasn't done it yet, it might be happening to you or it could be that's going to happen to you, Leo. But somebody here is going to go after you really, really fast to try to get you back. Because I feel like this other person, whoever it is, if it's you, Leo, that's walking away or this other person... Whoever it hits, the other person knows what's about to happen. You feel me? And if it did happen, they're chasing you down. Like, they're not going to stop. Somebody here is thinking a lot. Somebody here is worried a lot about what's going on here. Let me see, Leo. What else for Leo here? Like, somebody here is after a love. Too. It's like I'm picking up, too, that somebody here is thinking to moving to something really fast. You feel me? But then again, somebody slows down. You feel me? It's like somebody wants to move into a connection, but at the same time, it's like you move real fast into it or you make up your mind real fast to move into the connection or, you know, to move into a person and then it just slows down again. It's like an energy like... You know, you're, you're, it's a lot of thinking, you feel me? And it's like, what I'm picking up is like overthinking things, you feel me? It could be this person too, you know? And it's like, <clears throat> I'm going to go get that person. I want that person. I can't be without that person. But then, boom, it slows down, you feel me? Like, no, I ain't going to do this. You feel me? Somebody here is very guarded. There's a lot of secrets here, okay? Somebody here is very guarded. They want to start fresh. They want to start new. They want to give a chance here to somebody, okay? I don't know if it's you, Leo, or the other person, but I feel like it's another person here that wants to give a chance. But I feel like you're thinking about this, Leo, and you do not want this connection is what I'm picking up. Like, you don't want this person. This person caused a lot of chaos, a lot of shit in your life and you don't want this chaos i feel like this person left listen whoever is here gonna hit this somebody here was at a point in time when they were on the floor crying when they were in a bed crying when wherever they went they were crying they were so into such an emotional really bad state that they didn't even know it to move backwards, forward, left, right. It was a really bad, bad, bad emotional state this person was in. And this person that was in this connection with this person going through this didn't give a fuck. Didn't give three fucks about this person. 
Now, somebody here is standing their ground, putting their guard up, and thinking about things, and, you know, you ain't going to put me in that situation again. I cry too much. You know, I feel like somebody here was hurt. I ain't even going to lie. Somebody here was is good. Oh, my God. Somebody here was hurt was going to get hurt. You feel me? And I mean physically hurt. This person that you were dealing with or you're dealing with right now has put a lot of burdens on you, has put a lot of like, you know, physical hands on you. And I hate when this comes out, people, because I just, I can't. I get dirty hot with this shit, you feel me? But it comes out, she tells me everything, you know? And I feel like sometimes, you know, you think about this person and the good times, but it is what it is. There was things that happened here. And it could have happened to you, Leo, or it could have happened to the cross watcher, you feel me? Or somebody that's around you. Just take it how it hits you. But somebody most definitely here is doing a lot of thinking about a connection here. If they should get into a connection, if they should move forward to a person, but it's like you're overthinking. Just change is coming here for you, okay? You're going to move forward to whatever decision you make, Leo, you're going to move forward on it. Nobody's going to stop you. You feel me? Like, whatever you, you decide to be with this person, to move on to a new person, to be with your ex, to whatever it is, nobody's going to stop you. You're going to keep on moving however the hell you want. But I feel like there's somebody here that's going to come in rushing into your energy and trying to, like, you know, give you an offer of, like, let's try this again. And I feel like you feel it. I feel like your intuition feels it. And you're thinking about this like, hell fuck nah. I'm moving out. I'm moving out this motherfucker's way. You feel me? But for some reason here that I'm picking up another another um, energy, that somebody here has been thinking a lot into moving to something new with somebody. You might have met somebody. You might have your eyes on somebody. And you want to move fast to this person, but it's like something's slowing you down. It could be this person's behavior. It could be this person, the way they come off sometimes. And it's kind of like, you know, like you're looking at this and you're not liking it a little bit. You feel me? Hold on a minute. What else for Leo here, please? You're standing like the king of wands. You feel me? Very confident. You know, moving forward, very confident. Not taking no shit. You feel me? Like if you move forward to into a connection that you've been thinking about, you feel me? And something just clicks a little bit. You're going to turn real quick. And you're going to be a bitch. Whether you're female or a male. You're not going to take no shit. You feel me? Like you're standing very firm on that. You got the king of wands. The knight of cups. The hermit. The five of swords. The wheel. And the king of wands. I feel like somebody here wants to move fast into a connection. But... They're thinking about it very long and hard and strong. Like, Leo's like, somebody here is thinking long and hard and I feel like you're looking at this person. There's something that this person has that you're not liking, but at the same time you like the person. But there's something that's wrong with this person that you're not liking. And that's why it's taking somebody here so long to decide. You feel me? And whoever, listen, the King of Wands is about confidence. You know, but the king of wands can get nasty real quick. You feel me? Like, they put their guard up, you know, and they observe people. And if something crazy comes their way, they could do a 360 on you and turn into a real bitch in three seconds. You feel me? And that's the way you're standing, Leo. Hold on a minute. Somebody here is thinking about you, Leo. Hold on a minute. Be a past person. Show me, um... More in this connection, Renata. Listen, there was somebody here. There was a lot of chaos here in a home. There was a destruction in a home. Leo, you, whoever you were dealing with, this has to be a past person. Because there was a destruction in a home, or it could be what's happening to you now. You moved forward. You stood your ground. You didn't give three fucks. You turned into a bitch in three seconds. Me, a female army... I keep on saying me male, bro. I said it in another video. What the fuck is that? A me male. Whatever. 
Like, I feel like you're standing your ground. You ain't putting up with no more shit. I feel like some chaos went here and down in the home. A lot of fights. A lot of, like, you know, disagreeing with each other. A lot of, like, fights for no reason. Like, everything would bother a person here. You feel me? Like, whatever was said, done, or whatever, it would just bother. It was out of chaos. And it's not only... Two people here. I mean, the whole household was going at it. You feel me? Somebody probably got pissed, and then the other person got pissed, and then everybody got pissed, and everybody started going at it. It might be a family that when one jumps, everybody jumps. You feel me? Because, trust me, I know how Leos are. My brother's a Leo. If he jumps, I'm going to jump. The whole family's going to jump. You feel me? And some Leos are not like that, because I know Leos that are very, very, very kind and very they don't even look like leo traits but i feel like there's a family here that if somebody jumps everybody's gonna jump at the same time and some chaos happen here in a family somebody moved forward here stood their ground turned into a 360 bitch and is thinking about it about going back to this connection but you you're out of there it's like you're out of there and for some of y'all you're trying to move I feel like, you know, what she's telling me. Alguien aquí quiere entrar a una relación, pero no saben cómo. Like, it's like you're thinking about moving forward. Somebody here is thinking about a new relationship, something that might have caught your eye, but it's like you're thinking really hard to come into that relationship, but something is really stopping you. And it might be the way of this person's um, projecting themselves. This person could have a lot of drama in their life. You feel me? And you're seeing drama, friends, you know, people gathering up together. There's something that you don't like about this person. But there's something you like about the person. You feel me? Hold on a minute. Four could be a significant number for you guys. If you're seeing a lot of synchronicities with four, it could be signs from you guys. Okay, what else for you here, please? What else? This came on the fence. So, yeah, a lot of arguing, a lot of problems, a lot of drama, a lot of pe people, like I said, he said, she said, a lot of people involved here. Like, I feel like Leo, you know, I feel like there was so much drama going on here in this household or in somebody's household, whoever it is, pick it up how it hits, your household, this person's household, a friend's household. But I feel like... Somebody here had a problem and everybody went at it. You feel me? But for the most part, you try to fight for this connection as much as you could. You feel me? And it just didn't work out. But I feel like somebody here is headed your direction. And it might be an ex-partner. I ain't even going to lie. It's coming out. You know? But you're standing your ground. You're standing like the king of wands. You ain't giving three fucks. If you see any type of movement that you don't like, is on and popping. You feel me, Leo? You're tired of all this drama, this fuckery, this fighting. You know, this house that got destroyed by other people. Because I feel like there was other people involved here pushing the shit. You feel me? You know when something's happening and instead of staying quiet and mind your own business and don't get in nobody's business, everybody starts pushing the problem. You feel me? Like, oh, you know what? She was wrong. He was wrong. You should do this. You should that. Don't listen to nobody. Because it happens on a daily basis. You can give an advice to somebody, a good one and a bad one at the same time. You feel me? For a person to, you know, to open up in each side of the stories. And you got to hear every side of the story. But you can't go in and be telling people, oh, you know what? You had a fight with your girl. You had a fight with your man. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that nigga. Let them go. Let's go out and chill. This is what people do. And this is the energy I'm picking up. So, Leos, you already know. You're standing your ground. You ain't giving three fucks about nobody here. But I feel like a lot of people were involved in the situation. And you've been doing a lot of thinking, Leo. You're in hermit mode. Like, you ain't giving three fucks about nobody. Hold on a minute. What else for Leo? This person. Listen, there's a person here that got physically hurt by somebody else. Hold on a minute. What else for Leo here, please? Or you got physically hurt by somebody, okay, that put your hands on you real bad. I feel like somebody here ended up in a hospital with physical wounds and they never did anything about it, never called police, never sent it into doctors, just said different stories and shit. And you were physically, you know, hurt for a very long time. 
this person had a lot of control over you. A person that you were very scared and shaken of. You feel me? I'm picking up that energy here too. You move forward. You got out of that. This person destroyed your home, destroyed your family, destroyed everything around you. You've been doing a lot of thinking, removing old patterns, removing wounds inside of you, mentally, physically, whatever it is. But you need to go and do a lot of like soul searching with yourself because you're very guarded, Leo, at this moment. Or somebody here is very guarded because of all the drama and all the shit and all the chaos. And I can understand when there's domestic violence coming in, you know, or somebody that's physically getting abused, you got to get the fuck out of there. Yes. And you got to put your walls up. And yes, you got to be a bitch. You feel me? But you're you're trying to remove every single energy, you know, from the past that has hurt you, that has betrayed you, that has given you mental and physically. I feel like somebody here is mentally, you know, fucked up from all the shit they've been through. And all they do is think and think and think. You need to stop thinking so much and get out of that energy and do something for yourself. Do positive things. You feel me? Do some... You know, shadow work on yourself, you feel me? Shadow work is not only bad, shadow work brings good things, you feel me? Like, I was looking at a video today on shadow work. And, you know, there's a lot of things good that comes out of shadow working, you know? But, at the same time, I feel like somebody here is so wounded. Like, they don't even want to continue moving on. But at the same time, you do want to move on. To something new. But it's going to take you a little bit of time. For whoever's going to hit this as being. That was physically and mentally abused here. It might take some time. Because the wounds are still there. The internal wounds are still there. The emotions are still there. The pain is still there. You feel me? There's a lot of things that this person at night can't even sleep. They wake up in the middle of the night and sweats dreams about what happened and what's happening and fear that this person is going to come back you feel me let me light up that candle give me a second yeah my bad i had to light up that candle because it shut down and it's there for a reason it was crazy before i came into the reading because i said wait a minute i gotta do capricorn now but where the hell's leo so I skipped Leo, my bad Leos. I love you Leos, but I skipped you. So I'm doing Leo right now and then after Capricorn. So if you see that in the um, videos, you're in the middle somewhere, it's because it happened. And then I left the stage on just a little bit in my room. My whole room almost caught on fire. Like, it almost caught on fire. The alarm started ringing in my house, and my son was like, what's happening? And when I, we came into my room, this whole area right here was everything was about to blow up in fire. Right before I did this. My room right now smells so much like sage that I think my own spirit's hot ass. You feel me? Like, it was so bad. Like, we had to open every single door window in my house. Like, it was bad. And I said, well, you know what? This house is clean. After everything happened, I was cracking up and I was saying, well, you know what? It's not clean because say you don't take any type of bad spirits out, but, it, you know, it, the, neg the negative energies for a, for a little while leave. It was just, it was crazy. There was so much smoke in here. I thought my room was literally, like, blow up and fire, but it was about to blow up on fire. Crazy. And then I walk in and I was like, wait a minute, where the hell's Leo at? So if y'all motherfuckers... <laughs> Give me that little sign. I'm just playing with you. Okay, let me see. Listen, somebody here has been very hurt, okay, in the past. And it's hard for a person here to move on, to move forward. For some of y'all, it's like you want to move forward really fast into a connection. And for some of y'all, it's like, you know, it's like a you're overthinking things so much about moving forward to a person or to somebody you might just like kicking it with it. But there's something you don't like about this person. I understand what it is. You feel me? This person, you know, could have a lot of options. I feel it. I feel like there was four people involved here in a situation when it comes to your home and this chaos. There could have been more. But I'm seeing like four images in that cup and they don't show numbers like that. 
when it comes to things that I'm reading like this, I know what they're showing me. So I feel like there's four people that were involved here besides yourself and your person. So I mix two other people. But somebody here is thinking very hard to move forward to somebody. And I feel like maybe this person's trying to reject or you're the one that's trying to like, you know, reject the situation. But I feel like somebody here, their energy is not good and you're picking it up. But there's some good there's some good things about this person, you feel me? It just depends how it hits you. Follow your intuition. Follow what your guys are telling you. For this group here that's doing this, you feel me? For the most part, a lot of you Leos are thinking hard. You know, you're standing your ground. You're moving forward. You're moving forward to the things that you want. You've left a lot of shit behind you. And you're moving forward for your better. Not looking back. Not looking at the fuckery or the drama. Yes, drama still calls you. You feel me? But it's like you're moving forward. You ain't giving three fucks about nobody right now. It's all about you. You feel me? Your family and if you got kids. That's the only thing that I'm seeing here. You feel me? But there is somebody here that somebody's interested in or some of y'all interested in. Let's see. Show me this person. And leave his energy, please. The Queen of Cups. Leo, somebody wants to come in. Somebody wants something stable with you. Somebody wants to love you. You know, somebody's caring here. Somebody wants to commit with you. You feel me? The Queen of Cups is coming out here. So, Leo, at the end of the day, if this is a past person, not this energy right here of physical and mental abuse. That shit, hell no. Nah. But I feel like if somebody here is trying to move on to somebody, male or female, the Queen of Cups came out, but it could be a male uh, or female that I'm talking to. I feel like this person is loving. I feel like this person is stable. You know, they go with the flow. You feel me? So that might be just a thing that you're not liking that they go with the flow. And they're too caring, too friendly. You feel me? That's what I'm picking up. They're too friendly. And that rubs you the wrong way. But you feel me? Like everybody that's friendly like that doesn't mean they're doing nothing. But, you know, some people don't like people that are friendly. I do sure I don't. But let me see what else is coming towards Leo. Somebody here is very hurt, Leo. Somebody here is heartbroken. And I feel like it's this past person. You know, or it could, you know, listen, it could be you. Even though I'm calling in a person here, it could be you. Because there was a lot of betrayal here. It broke your heart into a thousand pieces what this person did to you. But there's somebody here that's, you know, that betrayed you really, really, really bad. And they're heartbroken about it. But I feel like they're only heartbroken because they lost you. You feel me? And you're the only person, the good person they had. They're not going to find a person like you. That's why they're sitting down thinking so much. Listen, whoever here is heartbroken, that got betrayed this way and got hurt this way, keep on moving. And if you're in this energy, you know what I'm saying? I can only give you an advice. My ancestors connect with your ancestors. My guides connect with your guides. You feel me? That's how we bring these readings up. You know, they're telling you to move forward. You know? Stand your ground. Get strong. You know? Fight your way out of this. Okay? Let me see what else is coming towards the you. What else you know, is coming towards the you? The devil in reverse. Releasing limited, my God. The devil in reverse. <clears throat> Releasing limited beliefs. <clears throat> you know? This person could have had temptations before. This person could be an could have been an addict before. And, you know, they're trying to fix their addictions. They're trying to fix, you know, all these temptations they had. These temptations could have been anything. Drugs, alcohol, sex. It could have been anything. But I feel like even with the devil in reverse, is like releasing limited beliefs. It's like... 
this person, even though they're trying, is what she's telling me to release all this energy. It's like this energy follows them wherever they go. Somebody here might have made a pact with the devil and they're trying to break it, is what she's telling me, my God. And there's not going to be no way out of that. That snake is going to keep circling and circling around this person. That's why they're so evil. So if you're in a connection here and this person's acting crazy like this, listen, you need to move forward because, you know, somebody here made some type of like, they're either into um, worshiping Satan, which has nothing to do with the devil. Because it doesn't. If you look it up. Somebody that worships Satan has nothing to do with the devil. But I feel like somebody here has sold their soul to the devil. And they're trying to get out of it. There's no there's no, there's no, no out of that. Once you sell your soul, you sell your soul. And for some stupid shit. Just to be known. I feel like this person got bullied a lot when they were little. They got bullied a lot. They were a person that... You know, they got bullied for no reason. They would try to defend themselves and nobody would defend them. It was like, this person even got bullied in their own home. And they turned, their tur they turned to this motherfucker right here for help. And what they did was they, they turned into a motherfucking beast. Man, I've seen worse. I mean, you don't understand the things that I've seen in my life. Like, y'all would be jaw-dropped. If y'all walk with me every day and see the things that I see, y'all be jaw-dropped. This ain't a surprise to me, but it's crazy, babe. You can't get out of that. That's something you can't get out of. You can work things on yourself for you to get out of that energy, for you to be protected from that energy, but this person cannot get out of that. Let me see. What advice do you have here for Leo? Manera. What else? What else? One more time. Any other advice for you here? All right. Okay, let's see what it says, Leo. It says, trust that there's a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Focusing on that which frightens or worries you. I cannot make this shit up, people. That means I'm saying, you know, it's like a praise to spirits because they're always on point. You feel me? Like, get out of this negative energy. It's just, ne listen, just like I said, this person might have sold their soul to the devil. You feel me? For some stupid shit because they were being bullied, because they had family issues, because they were, you know, I see a lot of things here. You know, I see even rape here on a person, but you don't go and sell your soul to a devil for that shit. You fix it on your own. You feel me? Trust that everything happens for a reason, okay? You have somebody watching over you. You have your guides watching over you. You have plenty of guides watching over you. Remove yourself from that negative energy, you know? The emotions you have for this person is all trickery. You feel me? Focus on what's frightening you is what that message is and what's worrying you. You feel me? This is what it is, okay? Focus on that and remove yourself from that energy. It says it's time to get, to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. So do something you like. Do something that you feel me that, you know, makes you happy. Do something that brings your inner child out. Bring something that, you know, you're creative on. It doesn't matter what it is. You feel me? You could be all day long at home. You know, and just doing things around the house, and that would be good for you. You feel me? Be creative. You know, reach out to your guides. I feel like somebody here needs to go to the river. If you have a river close to you, go to a river. If you don't have a river, go to a lake. Okay? And throw your thoughts down in that lake. Okay? And ask, you know, the owner of the river, which is Ochun. To help you in this, okay? To get out of this energy. Because this energy is coming back towards you. 
Okay, they don't care what they got to do. They're going to come back towards you. You don't need this energy in your life. Okay? The devil's not allowed here or anywhere. You feel me? Let me see. Is there a message here for Leo? Oh, my God. It's crazy shit. Okay, it says transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So whoever here is thinking about moving into something new, and you're thinking and thinking and thinking a lot about this person, there's little things that bother you from this person. It could just be something that, you feel me? Everybody has, you know, something that bothers somebody, you feel me? You know, you might just jump into this relationship and it's going to, you know, do something. You're, you're going to end up in related with this person, you feel me? You know, this person's coming in like the Queen of Cups. There's two energies. There's two, two or three energies in here. But for the most part, that's good news, okay? So if you're thinking about somebody here or somebody's thinking about you and you're not sure, listen, something's about to happen with this Queen of Cups coming in, all right? So let me see. This could be past, present, or future. What do they, what do they want to say to Leo, please? What else? For Leo, what else? Anything else? Okay, so let's see what it says. It says, how could you still love me after what I've done? So whoever here is being abused or got abused or whatever the case was, you know, they might feel like you still love them, and you probably still do, because nobody can control the heart. I don't give a fuck what nobody says, what a person has done. People constantly, I hear people constantly say all the time, oh no, because if they beat my ass, if they put their hands on me, I will never love that person again. No, motherfuckers. You could remove yourself from the person, you could leave the person, you feel me? And not, you know, not interact with the person no more, not ever look back. But your heart, you can't control your heart. You can still love that person. This person feels like after everything they've done, and I feel like it's this energy right here that got all this physical and mental abuse on them. It could even be this person that sold their soul. Like, who the fuck does that? I mean, yes, people do it, but damn. For some stupid shit, like, come on, people. You inspire me. So whoever's coming in here... Leo, what were you thinking about? You inspire this person, okay, in some type of way. I wish I could take back the things I said. So whatever was said could be taken back, but the things you did cannot be taken back. You feel me? So let's see what the dice is bring out. Remember, it's first, middle, last initial for you, this person. Who were you thinking about? Even a nickname. I have destroyed this little guy with my rings. Yes. Let's see. Let's see what she brings out. Bring me what they want to see. Yeah. That one came up with it. Okay, so you got an R, you got an A, when I said that, that A flew out, you got a W, you could use it as an M if you want in spiritual dices, all right, you got another W, <clears throat> you could flip it to an M2, that's why I like spiritual dices, you could use, okay, you got an O, you got a K, you got a U, or an N. I feel like this person for a very, very long time, sold their soul a very long time ago, and they've been trying to break this for many, many, many years, and they can't. They've turned to God. They've turned to Jesus. They've turned to spiritual stuff. They've turned to everything, and they can't break it. They're telling me right now, to fuerce tiempo. Like, this was a long time ago when this person did this. This person could be in their 50s, 40s, or even their late 30s, okay? I don't know. They gave me number 51 for a reason. T. 
It could be a pattern in the family too. Um, D, you got a Q. You got a V. And the reason why I say a pattern, hold on a minute, you got an H and I, because I saw the number 51. So <clears throat> 51, yes, I can have a person for 51 watching me here. Why not? You feel me? I'm 49. Damn, did I even say that? No, I didn't. Not everybody knows my age. No bitches. I'm going to turn 29 next month. So y'all didn't hear that. But I feel like there's a pattern in this family because we're 51 here. This might be a person that's in their 30s maybe. You know, middle 30s, late 30s. And this person is like a pattern in the family. And they've taken those traits from the family. But that's not the right thing to do. And now they want to get out of this, but they can't get out of it. There's no way of getting out of that. You can get out of that energy. You can release that energy from you. You could have that broken if any energy is coming your way. But this person, that cannot be broken. What's done is done. But anyways, I hope that helps some Leos out here. I'm sorry I missed you in the middle. I don't know. I didn't write um, the signs down. So I love you, Leos. And I wish you the best of luck, okay? I'll see you later, my loves.